Browns Ravens matchup. Uh, Harry Douglas will be part of the ESPN radio crew. Um, he talked about this matchup uh, on ESPN's Get Up. I'm looking at this Ravens offense. They better be ready for the blitz because one thing Jim Schwartz told us against the Cincinnati Bengals who have the personnel is that we don't care about who you have over there. We believe in our guys and they have the personnel from the defensive line, the linebackers in the secondary to play man coverage. So how's Lamar Jackson in this offense going to do against the blitz? Because you know it's coming. Wait, and they struggled with that. Lamar has... Since Lamar's been a Raven, they've struggled with pressure. They very rarely had a plan. And kind of Harry mentions the secondary. Denzel Ward, I don't know if there's a corner in football playing better than Denzel Ward right now. And that's a huge deal. Who's the matchup that they like if you're Baltimore offensive? Then I, uh, if defensively with the Browns, none of their, and again, I think Zay Flowers is a really good player. I think Mark Andrews is a really good player. I The, the, the way the guys are covering I take my chances with the Browns' defense, and Jim Schwartz said they're going to get after it. Yeah, I think that's the right attitude you got to have against this Ravens team. I mean, it's a physical football team, and, you know, we've talked before about, you know, how well the Browns match up with the Bengals, and I think they their defense also matches up well with Baltimore in the sense that they have this defensive front, and they have a lot of guys like particularly Jeremiah Usu koromolo who can – maybe not completely mirror Lamar Jackson as far as speed goes, but get close to it. And as long as you have guys that are close to it, you have guys that are able to deal with the mobile quarterbacks and be able to kind of limit them. That's where I think you can have a little bit of an advantage. And, you know, with Baltimore, we still have to see, you know, if Lamar Jackson can win a game, you know, win multiple, win, be really successful in this offense when they're one dimensional, you know, they've had a lot of banged up running backs, Gus Edwards and Justice Hill have been getting back into practice, so that's outstanding news for the Ravens because they've been they were down to Kenyon Drake and Melvin Gordon last week, and having those guys, you know, there's not as good as Gus Edwards and Justice Hill are. So no question, Baltimore wants to run the football. This is new, the new offensive system that Todd Munkin has brought into Baltimore. We'll see what kind of impact it has. It'll certainly be better, I think, towards the end of the season than the, than the beginning of the season. But I think the plan, you know, certainly is you know, try and force Baltimore to be as one-dimensional as possible and then live with the results. And, of course, when you have the secondary that the Browns have, as well as they've been playing with how well the pass rush is playing, the defensive front's been playing, those are things you take your chances with. And no reason for the Browns to change their identity after how, how successful it's been three games in a season. I mean, they've given up one offensive touchdown in 12 quarters, and they've maybe allowed, I think, two entire plays in the red zone all season.